All right. Sorry yeah, you can start for that. Hic yeah, sorry for that hiccup, please. No problem. Yeah. So fine then. So I think we can start, right? Yes, Cindy. Okay, sure. Thank you. So, um, so we were discussing about the uh, enterprise structure, right? I hope like we have we came near to uh, store location. So I was uh, explaining about the store location, right? Store location is like a facility inside the plant. So uh, where metal gets stores. So I mean warehouse integration, like we'll discuss later in mid of the course, like how to integrate the warehouse management to, uh, with the SD model that we'll be discussing later. So we'll discuss about that also. But complete warehouse functionality we are not going to discuss. There will be separate module. Uh, it is a it is a separate module. There will be separate consultants who will be working for the warehouse management. So there will be different like you know uh, religious also are there. Like you know we have EWM and warehouse management also. So we'll be discussing mainly core WM, uh, like how the uh, goods will be delivered from the warehouse. That also we'll be discussing later. So now um, today's, as part of today's class, you know, so we'll be discussing like a complete enterprise structure, whatever the example we have discussed till now. So we are going to define the same thing in SAP. Okay, so we have got the server access also. We can get the server details uh, and the username and password uh, from Shashank. He'll be providing the server details. So we have our own dedicated server. So nobody will be using that except our team, right? And uh, so uh, he'll be guiding you like, you know, how to uh, install uh, SAP GUI. So this is a GUI, right? Which I'm opening here. <clears throat> Normally we'll call it as a login pad. So this normal, uh, this login pad will be uh, installed in, uh, it will be it will be there in our desktop. So once you get installed, then we'll be adding the server, uh, server details to this uh, GUI then we'll be logging into sap so once you click on the login button <clears throat> you'll be getting your own user each and every person will be having your own username and password okay so we got the server access uh, yesterday so everything is working fine i tested it like all good so we can get these server details from shesha okay so then i'm entering my username and password for example i have created one user So normal get so you play in a password enter JS number. So three times uh, wrong password is lock up again, like you need to call to Shashank. Okay, so then uh, you need to ask him to unlock the password. Okay, so normal ga, so password careful ga enter jayin. So if you're entering wrong password more than three times, it will get locked. So again, it will take time. So you need to find out, the, you need to find the time to unlock it, right? So it will be delayed. So while entering itself, be careful, don't enter the wrong passwords. Okay. So here, like, you know, we got into SAP Easy Access screen. So as I said before, the initial screen in SAP once we log in, so we'll get into SAP Easy Access screen. Okay, now I'm going to configure the enterprise structure. Okay, so all the configurations will be done in the IMG screen, right? So when you were discussing in last session, so there are two types of screens. So this is the Easy Access screen where the all the transactions and master data will be created. But now we are going to configure the enterprise structure. So, so all the configurations will be done from IMG screen. So to reach the IMG screen, <clears throat> there are two ways. One by using the menu path. So I just showed you in last session. So go to tools, customizing, IMG, execute project, and the reference IMG. So this is a menu path we follow usually. But uh, the transaction code is, uh, transaction code is SPRO. Right, so use the SPRO as a transaction code to get into IMG screen. Right, so now we are going to define the enterprise structure. <clears throat> in the IMG screen, you can see uh, enterprise structure node here. So you can get into this menu batch. So go to enterprise structure. First of all, we need to define. We need to define the individual organizational units. Okay, when I say individual organizational units, like so, company is one organizational unit. Company code is one organizational unit. So sales organization is one organizational unit. Distribution channel is one organizational unit. So like this, we each and every organizational unit we need to create. Okay, so now we are going to, we are getting into enterprise structure, go to definition, we are in definition part. So go to financial accounting. First, we need to define the company. As for our example, so company is part of financial accounting. So I'm going to create the company now. Okay, so I'll just click on this button. Now we'll get into 
company so first time it will take time so it is buffering like buffering time like you know so once once you run it first time then second time onwards it will be faster so if we see here there is like you know there are some already there are some companies okay so these are like referential data so sap provided data to take the reference okay any any company like you know thousand is normally we will take thousand as a reference so this is a referential data okay so don't change any referential data it is only for reference okay so we will take this reference and we will create the our own company even if you get into real real projects also like you know they'll be having this referential data okay only for reference okay so don't change the data of the referential data so if you want to change the data change in your company okay create your own company and change the data and we can play whatever you can like you can change the data you can change the settings you can run whatever the transaction if you want right by using your own data you can do anything but don't change the any referential data which is provided by sap standard sap so these are the standard data okay so i'm taking the 1000 as a reference okay so here so there are two ways to create the any organizational data by getting into new entries we can enter all the details like you know so you can enter what is the company like name so name uh, description like then street uh, and that does details and everything you can enter manually <clears throat> but sap recommends always instead of going to new entries go for like you know select the sorry so select the existing company and copy the details instead of going for new entries select this duplicate it i mean copy it now it is duplicated here change the details according to your requirement right so here company can be created with a four digit alphanumeric second give me a second i'm sorry yeah. okay so now i'm going to create the company by taking the uh, existing company as a reference i'm going to create the new company so as i said company can be created with the six digits not four digits it's a company uh, can be created with the six digit alphanumeric let's say uh, tata so 01 six digit alphanumeric you can provide enter the name company name let's say tata group of companies anything so tata group of It, whatever the name like you know so it's up to you so we are just assuming company for tata group right so that is the reason i am mean, just entering the company name as tata group company enter the details like whatever the details you want it to like so if you want to enter the street name and post box number like anything you can enter in india postal code will be six digits so i am just entering the six digits city like you can say like mumbai or whatever the name you want to do right and country is in india okay if you don't know the country code you can uh, we can select from the list also okay if you have this drop down list right you can you can select from here right whatever you think like you can select it. and language key so we we follow english so enter here if you don't know the language key also like just select it from drop down list okay now so currency so we use inr so it's a depends on the client right so if you are implementing sap for american client you can enter the american address and the currency language like according to the client requirements press enter and save it okay got like you know now i'm going to save it the moment once we save once we click on the save button okay so we have the request number here so i'm creating first time i'm creating the my own request okay so this is a trans this is called the transport request if you remember like whenever we save something in img screen so it will be saved under the transport request right so i'm creating my own request this is the very first time you create it right so like test data i'm just entering some description and save it that's it okay very first time it will get it like later uh, second time and what will not get this request we'll discuss uh, separately about the about the transport request like you know what is the use of this transport request how it will be moved from development to quality quality to to so vat and test by some right and production so that will be discussing later so but as of now just use the transport request and create your own transport request and save it so now it got saved okay so refresh that should be fine we'll get some pop ups very first time no need to worry on that
so main uh, here is like the way of creation of the company we can create it by copying the existing company or we can create our own also okay so what we did is like we just copied the thousand now we copied the thousand now okay so and we have created our own company so instead of like if you don't want to copy you can go to new entries i'll show you once again okay enter your company okay so you enter the company details all the details and save it as usual like you know so whatever the details you wanted to enter just enter and save it the same way how we save the company right in the same way we can create it by getting into new entries also okay so both are ways are so like you know we can do any 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 of these ways but recommended is always to copy the recommended is always to copy the existing company and create the new company okay if you see here we have 1000 and if you search for your company whatever you have created tata tata right tata 01 i think so tata 01 we have created to get into details you can see all the details whatever we have entered here right so, so that's why garu like can you yeah. can you just like uh, show us like how to get to that like the existing list so uh, now the moment once we enter into this defined company right you can so see how did you get the... to that page yes we will get into this page no no exactly. how did you get into the prior page okay so let me show you once again spro yeah so we are in img screen right so yeah. like so if you get into uh, easy access we'll go to spro spro then img oh okay so then enterprise structure we have definition we have financial accounting we have defined company right mm -hmm. so here we can select the thousand which is existing one right this is a standard data we are duplicating it like you know we are copying the existing one and creating the new one got so it. these are the, thousand is a original copy so we are like you know we are duplicating the original into new company okay we are changing the details according to our new company that is okay clear it yeah yeah thank you sir yes. can you say it again sir yeah sure so what i'm doing is like uh, we are creating a new company and ikkada so what i'm doing here is i'm just getting into define company okay so there are two ways and matter so meeku anta difficult and precise it's a very simple actually so go to new entries enter your details your company company name and just save it that's it like there is a way like you know we can create the company but kakapothe endante so sap recommends sap recommends to copy the existing company okay so this is the existing company ante so this is a, this will be used for reference purpose and matter so this is a referential data we'll take 1000 will copy it like there is a copy button here okay click on copy button so 1000 is getting duplicated here and duplicated company like 1000 will change the details according to our requirement let's say tata so we have already created tata 01 so i'm giving tata 02 and change the details according to our requirement so these details will get it from client actually so what is the company name what is the company code like you know this code what code we need to give so those details will be getting from the client itself okay so enter the street address city and country language key and currency so enter all the details and press enter then save it so once you save it it will be saved under transport request there is a transport request just click on continue that's it right. so our main company will be in india right so why did you break the currency as european it should be no, india so we can change it then. so it's not we an can issue. change oh okay i thought it is set forever no no so we can change it uh, just like you know first we have created the tata 01 with the currency uh, right uh, INR. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. i just wanted to show you once again that is the reason like i just okay no problem sorry yeah right so we can enter the details you can change it okay so we have created the company now, right? So we have the Tata 01 and Tata. So usually I'll create only one. So just wanted to show you once again, like that is the reason I have created another company also. I'll delete the existing one, another one. If you keep also, like nothing will happen. Okay? I'm just See, continuing. once the transaction start, do you mm -hmm. intend to change the company currency code? People are allowed to do that or it's just one time when you 
create the company or allowed to change the currency code yeah so basically uh, when you, when when you are working for the projects right like nobody will mm -hmm. have the access there will be authorizations for the users okay no mm -hmm. user will get into uh, img screen and they'll get into these screens and they'll not be they'll not be able to see these details at all okay. only consultants will be having access the two mm -hmm. in development development server or quality server will have the access Okay, in production, we will not have access to do anything. So we cannot do anything. Even transactions also will not be able to do. If at all, if we get in a request from the business to change the currency or name or something else, first of all, we need to change it in development server. Then we need to save that in the transport request. We need to get the approval from the business. Then it will be moved to quality. We'll test it. We'll check it at there. Then it will be moved to the EAT server. User will test the functionality, whether the naming convention, whatever the details they have mentioned, we updated correctly or not. Then only it will be updated in the production, right? It is a big process actually. If you want to change something, okay. Thank you, Andy. Yeah. Right. So, any any confusions here to create the company? Sudhakar Garu. Yeah. Bro, a uh, transport request generate out in Karandi once we create an account. Exactly. Exactly. A uh, number. Do we have to make note, or will it, will we be able to see it somewhere here? Yeah, we can see it, at But so, first of all, we used to save all the transport requests, but uh, we can get it. So it will be saved under your user ID. Okay. There is a transaction code, like, you know, so I'll discuss that later. Like, if okay. you want to see, just ask, right, SC01 or SC10, there is a transaction code. So under your username, right? So you can see your username. So if you see here, uh, all the transport requests under your user ID will be displayed. This is a transport request number. So whatever the changes you have done, right? Everything will be displayed here, right? Okay. Okay. Right. If you see here, just uh, go down. Like if you see here, Tata Jira one and Tata Jira two. So these are the company codes. So these are table name. So these are like uh, companies we have created, right? So this is updated here. Okay. And uh, all these roles, um, we have a uh, structure here. Mm -hmm. like um ut it rt pt all these process mm -hmm. flow mm -hmm. only one person handles or it is again divided into modules yeah, and so actually that is very good question so basically what will happen is we are the function consultants so yeah. uh, this is a configuration we are doing so there is no ABAP or technical team is involved in this configuration part right so once we create the company and our enterprise entire structure we'll test it in development server as a unit test like and we'll do we are the developer here so we are configuring that means we are, we are kind of developers. Though we are not writing the code here, but we are kind of developers because we are configuring the things according to the client requirement. So we are responsible for unit testing. So once unit testing is done, everything is fine, then we'll move the changes to the quality server. So we are, we are responsible for integration testing. We'll do the end-to-end -end integration testing, right? End-to-end -end testing. So there will, if it is a big client, we'll have the separate client, separate uh, consultants or separate uh, people, or separate resources for uh, uh, like this, Performance testing, PT. Okay, there'll be separate team. They'll be taking the traces, like you know, whenever we move the changes to the quality server, right? So it should not impact the it should not impact the existing process, right? Or mm -hmm. there should not be any performance issues. For that, there will be separate team. And for RT also, uh, regression testing, for doing the regression testing, there will be separate team in big clients. If it is a small clients, you know, they, if they wanted to say it's like uh, we are the we are responsible for everything. Okay. Depends Got on it. the client to client. Okay. okay, thank you. So, question and when you say uh, development team, so SAP coding SAP coding So definitely coding So but we are the function consultant. As I said before in last session, there will be two types of consultants. Okay, so technical consultants and functional consultants. Okay, so we could only con existing uh, SAP application law, Madam just configuring according to the business requirement. If something is not existing in SAP, and as a client of a specific requirement to achieve, okay, I wanted to add like you know some screen in my sales order creation screen. It cannot be configured directly in SAP. I need technical team help. So, manam technical team approach hai. So, maaku client requirement idi. Ek screen lo na koka sales order creation screen lo na. I wanted to have like separate menu or separate like you know invoice details or like the client address, client login or some. Fields I wanted to add in the existing screens. I don't have to that. Definitely, we would require uh, ABAP help. So, technical team. So, they'll be doing the coding. Okay. So, technical kind of. So, developers is not, not only the person who writes the code, the people like who configures also, they are also kind of developers. 
అదే నాకు నా క్వశ్చన్ ఏంటంటే ఇక్కడ మనం కంపెనీ డిఫైన్ చేస్తున్నాం కదా టీసీఎస్ అనే కంపెనీ మనం డిఫైన్ చేస్తున్నాం సో ప్రయర్ టు దట్ దీనికి ఏమైనా ముందు కోడింగ్ జరుగుతుంది not sales it's a company i'm just creating the company now so maybe uh, uh, like once we uh, we are going one by one first we are creating the company then we'll create the company code then only we'll going to create the sales organization okay thank you yeah so what is your question and like uh, we just created the company so maybe next we'll create the sales organization what is your question in that do you have any uh, sales question for this no no i'm just asking you know uh, i'm just wondering you know you're saying company right and sorry i'm also a sap consultant i'm just uh, checking uh, what is uh, what does it mean by company so we are actually referring as a sales org so i was just wondering what is the difference between a company and a sales org okay okay so sales organization like so it's a highest organizational unit in sd as i said before all the sales operations will be updated on the sales organization level company is a, like you know it's a group of companies it's a legal entity that's what like you know so we don't use company in any transactions it's a entity that's it like nothing no uh, like nowhere it will be used in transactions or any master data basically okay got it got it. yeah i mean i was just wondering you know even i had the same question we never used a car like company so yeah, exactly. anyway, thank you thank yeah. you yeah. so fine so we created the company right so then what is the next organization we need to we need to create what is the next one we need to create so we need to create the company, company code, code. Company exactly code. company code so here in our example we have three company codes but uh, like you know for uh, here you know so i'll create only one company code when you're practicing you can create a number of company codes here right so now i'm going to create the company code as i said before company code is the highest organization in fico which is responsible for all finance related activities basically gain and so fico consultants uh, define just our company codes but here so uh, we are going to define our own company code because it's a mandatory to run any transaction right so i'm just getting into enterprise structure define definition financial accounting so then here you can see edit copy delete check company code okay so i'm just getting inside of this so it is taking time like in first time uh, like you know it will take some time so here you can see here copy delete check company code i'm just getting into this option so now we got into company code creation screen as i said before sap recommends always to copy the existing company or existing data and create the new data according to the client requirement the same thing i'm following here also there is a copy button here click on copy button so if you are creating any organizational units other than company code or plan you can go to new entries and you can create your own directly but i will recommend always to copy the company code and plan like in for sure so if you don't copy the plan and company code you know there will be lot lot of issues in background like so because company code is the highest organizational unit it will contains lot of data in background there will be so many tables which are get up, updated in background of the company code so we cannot create everything new right so that is the reason like what i can recommend you to take the existing company code and to create the company code according to your requirement so here also i'm taking the company code of 1000 as a reference so this is also the existing company code if you see here the list you know we can see the list of company codes whatever available so always i'll take the 1000 as a reference it's a, like you know we can take anything but 1000 i like 1000 most like you know, other than other company codes right 1000 is a standard company code which is defined by sap which is given by sap basically so i'm taking 1000 as a reference company code and i'm going to create my own company code so for company code can be defined with a four digit alphanumeric whereas company code company can be defined with a six digit but company code can be defined with a four digit alphanumeric right so i'll enter like tata group right you can enter like tg01 i'm just entering some our unique number tg01 is a my uh, company code so i'm copying the data from 1000 to tg01 so tg01 is my company code and 1000 is existing company code so all the details whatever we have in 1000 everything will be copied into the tg01 right i'm going to create my own company code now click and continue so as i said company company code it will be having lot of data so it will be like you know it will be having gl accounts and everything 
so it will ask you your permission when you are copying so only do you want to copy the gl accounts yes i want to copy the gl accounts don't click on no if you click on no certain gl accounts will not be copied so when you are running the transaction it will create problem for you so we need to call the fi seva consultants we don't have any fi seva consultants right it will be very like you know uh, it will be it will become more like more complicated if you don't copy certain data so we need to find it out like you know we need to debug uh, from where these gl accounts are missing it's very difficult instead of, instead of that when you are copying the data itself like you know we should be very careful and uh, you don't press no click on yes so that like you know everything will be copied here like this we can get like so many pop ups to copy the data so copy everything whatever we have in thousand we are going to copy everything into our new company code also click on yes yes so it is asking like you know uh, you gl and enter sir gl it is uh, gl account is general ledger accounts and so basically uh, if you are a financial uh, financial consultant you know so financially if you know the financial terminology then they will be having more idea about the gl accounts basically gl gl is like you know general ledger accounts okay so do you want to copy the currency yes uh, do you want to allocate the different local currency to the target company code yes because i'm copying the german company code so but i'm copying into indian company code right so i want to have the indian currency so yes i want to use the different currency yes click on yes button which currency you want to use inr click on continue so we'll get so many pop ups while copying the data still certain data was not copied that that should be fine so okay. sudhakar gar when we are copying so basically like it is copying like the base templates exactly right? exactly yeah we are Just taking the original templates to have the structure base structure exactly that's true so instead of creating the new one so it's very difficult to create the new one so instead of that what we are doing is we are taking the existing one and changing the details according to our requirement by copying that okay so so basically all the underlying like structures that needs to be there for a company to be in in place that is what we are doing exactly yeah okay so uh, there will be hundreds of tables in background of the company code it's very difficult to fill up all the uh, all the data inside the tables right so that is the reason what i'm doing is like thousand is already created company code i'm taking that and duplicating it and changing the details that's it okay so first time maybe it will be uh, difficult for you to follow me but once you get into once you see the system then it will be easy you'll be doing one by one like you know once by complete after completion of our enterprise structure right you'll get to know what i have done right okay so nothing i'm doing i'm just duplicating and i'm uh, i'm just copying it and i'm creating the data that's it so there are inconsistencies let's, let's say like while like i mean during the training right like or most of us are probably might be new to this one so in case if something went wrong like is it easy to to purge that account yeah so to purge that company and then start over yeah we can delete like if you whenever you want to delete the any data uh, you can delete it so nothing okay. will happen so instead of deleting you know what you can do is you can create another company nothing will happen you can create a number of companies this is a practice server only okay right yeah so yeah so i'm just going forward like so many pop ups will come don't worry about the like you know whatever the warning message you get just continue further because it is copying lot of data so it is uh, copying the number ranges yes i want to copy the number ranges don't click on no if you click on no number ranges will not be copied so see here like you no know, tables are getting copied here what is the percentage is got over like you know 52% like so it is copying all the tables whatever is in thousand background so we are copying the data so now it is getting saved on the transport request i'm saving it yes so no need to read everything i just it is asking like you know it last many times it is uh, like you know we just continue further so don't close any screen because it is asking for each and every object it is copying it is asking your permission you want to copy yes it looks like similar but inside there will be different tables keep proceed further okay so still this copying certain data once we get this screen like you know almost uh, like you know this is the initial screen right so that means like most of the uh, tables has been copied 
So now I'll close this screen. Still, like you know, it is asking for some number ranges, like uh, company code, accounting related number ranges. Is get it like it is getting copied? Yes, copied. So still, okay. So certain data is still getting copied here. Don't close any or don't click on no. So if you click on no or close, then certain data will not be copied. It will create problem when you are running the transactions. So only company code is a bit complicated to copy, but remaining everything will very simple. So keep keep going like you know. So don't close any screen. Still, it get copied everything. Okay, so you'll get so many pop-ups like this. When you're for working for the projects, right? The LDAP projects will not get this many pop-ups, but this is a practice server. Like so we'll get, we'll have a lot of data in background created by different people. So we are getting this, this many. Continue. You get so many pop ups in between. No need to worry, like, no. So don't think like, no, you're doing something that, but this is a process we follow basically. Yeah, so now it is copied. So we copied from 1000 to our new company code called TG02. But we need to change the details according to your requirements. Whatever details we have in 1000, everything is there in TG02, right? So it's a replica of 1000. TG02 is our new company code. It's a replica of 1000. So now we need to change the details, right? So now what I'll do is I'll just go back from the screen. Here we have edit company code data option. So just click on this edit company code data. Here, like, you know, see, these are all existing company codes, right? So you can select your company code, TG02, which you have created now, TG02. So then we're getting to details. There is a magnifying glass button here. So we're getting to details. So here we can change the details. Okay, so, so whatever the details, like whatever the name for the thousand, it is copied, same thing here. So now Tata Motors. Dhakar is the is TR, right? Yeah. Uh, sorry, TR zero. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Thanks for. Uh, what is TG02, right? TG02. I think we put TG01. Yeah, TG01. Yeah, we have it. Okay. So now we have TG01 and just getting to details here. And changing the details according to my requirement. Okay, so here Tata, Tata Motors India. Right? And change the city. Mumbai, whatever the name. Like I'm just giving some random name here. Country India. Currency INR. English language. And the company code is a physical location. So we have address tab also. Here, if you see here, address tab. If you want, you can change the address, tab, address details also. Get into address tab. So, because Germany is coming because we copied from Germany company code, 1000 company code, right? So that is the reason all the details from 1000 is getting copied here. Change the details, like Tata Motors, address details, whatever the details you wanted to change. So I'm not going to enter anything. Like if you want, if you have time, I'm, okay, so you can enter all the details. I'm just changing the postal code because there will be validation for the postal code. If I, if I enter the country as IN, we should have the postal code with the six digits. So region, like, you know, you can select the region from the drop down, or you can keep it blank. All the fields are not impo very important. So for me, postal code, country, and language is very important. Remaining things, if you want to enter uh, new fields, you can enter new values, or you can keep the same way it is now. Okay. So now just con continue. I just updated the address details also for the company. Okay. 
some internal zeros okay some internal dump is coming that should be fine let me uh, basically yeah, that dump should not come let me define it again so i'll go to definition i think we did not save the we did not save the tg02 i'll get into company code Edit company code data. So I'll select my company code TG01. So I'll change the details again. Tata Motors India. So Mumbai. Again. I'm just centering the details again because I got some issue in between, technical issue. Let me save this first. Yeah, it got saved. Now we can change the address details also. So that should be fine. So I'll select the company code TG02. So TG01, sorry. So I'm selecting this. So I'm going to address tab. You can change the address details, whatever. Data motors. Postal code, country. So you can select the region from India, or else you can keep it blank. Okay. So country B. You change it. I think we should. Yeah, I can change it. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Now India. So then we can change the language. English. I think if I'm changing some address details, I'm getting done. That should be fine. So it's not mandatory thing, but we'll see that. Like, what is the technical issue? So we just created the company code. Now we updated the details according to our requirement. Okay, address details like some I have some issues. I'll check it out later. But that's not a mandatory thing. So our th so our important thing is like we have created the company code, right? So here we have the company code here. So whatever company code we have created now. We have it. So this is the way we can create the company code and you can update the details. Okay, address like not required, like we'll see that later. But as of now, our important uh, thing is we have created the company code. Any any questions here in creation of the company code? Sudhakar Garu, mm -hmm. just uh, to a company code law, um, that structure we have given three uh, companies, Tata Steel, Tata Motors and TCS. Exactly. So, Three different companies we need to create, right? Company Just to go along created. with this. Yeah, exactly. company code. The same way, same way how we created the Tata Motors, right? So the same way we need to create the Tata Steels as well as TCS also. Okay. It's a depends, like, you know, uh, how many company codes you need to have so that those many company codes we can create. So, okay. Uh, company codes, and we use Manam, that, is that also a requirement given by the client? Exactly. So there will be some workshops will happen during the uh, project preparation of blueprint stage, right? So at the time, we'll take a decision how many company codes we need to have for a company. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Andy. Yeah. Fine. So this is a way you can get. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, is there any place where we can uh, link the company and the company code? Or yes, we need to link it out. First, we are creating, we are defining the individual organization units. And once we complete this definition part, then we'll go for assignment part. Okay. Right. So first of all, we are defining it. Okay. That is the reason, like, you know, if you see your uh, menu path also, right? So if I go back to IMG screen, so we are in uh, menu path for the enterprise structure, right? So here, so we are in enterprise structure. We are in definition part, not in the assignment part. Okay. If we, there is a separate section for assignment, you see here, like we have assignment part. So that will be discussing. Once we define it, so then okay. after that, we will be assigning each and every organization in this. Got it. Fine. Fine. So we have created the company and as well as company code, right? So then next organization, what we need to create is sales organization. So as I said before, sales organization is uh, like, uh, it's a brand and better uh, for SD people. We can create like, you know, not unlike company code, it's a, you know, if you don't want to make it complicated, we can go to new interest directly. You can create our own sales organization. Also. Or it is recommended to copy 
the same way like how we did for the company and company code right we can copy the existing one also so either way we can do it okay so company can be created with a six digit alphanumeric okay so and company code can be created with a four digit alphanumeric and sales organization also can be created with a four digit alphanumeric okay so now we are going to see how to create the sales organization we are in the img screen already so i'll get into sales organization sorry enterprise structure we are in definition part i'll get into definition part so we'll get into sales and distribution now so company and company code belongs to financial accounting so that is the reason we are getting into the note for the financial accounting but so sales organization is a part of sales and distribution so that is the reason i'm getting into sales and distribution now so get into sales sales and distribution here we have defined copy delete check sales organization yes i'll scoot it define sales organization agar garu company code cheyatanki before uh, definition dantlo kelli deentlo kellarandi one second like let me show you that so here you know we got into enterprise structure definition then we got into financial accounting here we have a company and as well as company code right other than so this one you are asking right right yeah fine so now uh, we are going to define the sales organization right so company and company code can be defined with the financial accounting now we are going to define the sales organization sales organization can get in, can get through with the sales enterprise structure definition and sales and distribution so because sales organization is part of part of sales and distribution now i am getting to uh, define copy delete check sales organization define sales organization here so i'll i'll take the thousand as a reference okay you can take anything but thousand is like you know oh, we usually take thousand always okay so thousand is a existing uh, the sales organization don't change the thousand okay i'm telling again so people what they will do is well when they are practicing instead of copying the thousand they'll get into thousand details and they'll change the details okay so what will happen is if you change the thousand it is a reference data so everybody will be taking as a reference right it will impact others also be careful when you are changing the standard data don't change the data once you duplicate it or once you copy the existing one then you can change the details whatever you can right so the same way i am doing here i'm saying uh, i'm taking the uh, thousand as a reference i'm selecting it there is a copy button click on copy button and change the details according to your requirement so as i said sales organization also can be defined with the four digit alphabet i'm using the same naming convention tg02 you can use anything but just to remember easily i'm using the same naming convention whatever i have used for the company code uh, and as well as uh, the same way i'm using for same name i'm using for sales organization also but it is not mandatory but only thing is you need to remember or you need to make a note of whatever the organizational units we have created right for company so we have created it's uh, one tg01 sorry i'm sorry yeah it's tg01 i'm i'm very sorry so tg01 so we can use any name basically just to remember easily i'm using the tg01 name same in, i'm using same name naming convention for say company code and sales organization usually it will not be the same but it can be it can be same also like uh, in real time like we'll have the different different naming convention which is be provided by the client but here you know for practice purpose i'm using the same naming convention to remember easily because we'll connect again in next week we cannot search for the sales organization what is the sales organization what is the company code right if i give single name if i remember if i remember one name like so that like you know we'll get all the details right so that is the reason i'm using the same naming convention here okay if you want to give different names you can just give different names and just make a note of that because we should not search every time for uh, sales organization company code or other organization okay so once you enter the uh, four digit alphanumeric tg01 it can be uh, like in you know, a capital or small whatever like uh, nothing matters here okay so enter the description sales organization india right so here uh, so we have in our example we have multiple sales organizations i am going to create only one sales organization for our practice purpose when you are practicing you can create multiple sales organizations also and enter the statistical currency inr so these details like other details if you want to enter like this enter just enter otherwise just leave it blank like we don't require all this now as of now just enter the sales organization and currency and sales organization is a physical location the moment once we press enter it lasts for other details also 
Okay, so we'll get some. Sudhakar Haru, like those tales, the, the those codes, like are those codes defined by the business only, like or it's up to the functional? Yeah, consumer? so they'll give some naming convention. So like, so okay. they'll say like, you know, so I wanted to have these uh, sales organization like start with the, start with the AP zero one, or A A A two A like they'll give numeric all numeric also. Uh, I want to have five six zero zero A two zero one. Like it's a depend. Okay, so oh, they different. define. There is no standard. There is no standard rules that like you know we need to use only these uh, words or these letters. Okay, you can use all uh, characters or numerics, whatever you like. Okay. Okay, so completely take a business edition. Okay. Okay, so now oh, I'm getting the the moment once I press enter. So it is showing the address uh, address tab address details. You can enter all the address details like company. Okay, so a naming like name Tata Motors. Okay, so entering the postal code. If you want to delete all the details, you can uh, delete. Okay. So address details, if you want to enter your own address details, you can enter. I'm just not entering all the details. When you're practicing, you can change all the details if required. Right. So country, I'm just changing all the important fields. Country, India. Region, you can enter the Indian region. And uh, postal code uh, should be six digits. Language should be English. Then proceed further. So it will ask for like, you know, some name not entered, like, don't worry. It's a, just a warning message. You can proceed further. Okay, no problem. Just proceed further, like what it gets some information. So I think there are some issues that does. Okay, don't worry about that. Okay. I think region or such term is mandatory. Yeah, maybe. Not mandatory. <laughs> It should not yeah. at least it show the warning message actually so we should not get the uh, dumb so, sales sales organization uh, from which job uh, from which object we copied actually so we copied from thousand okay thousand okay everywhere thousand thousand you can take anything but uh, okay uh, usually we take thousand so, okay right okay right. we have all the details sorry is it zero one then yeah yeah <coughs> It is not copied actually. So we, we did not save it. So by the time we got it down, so again, I'm going to copy again. Thousand. I'm taking a thousand as a reference. Okay, so I'll enter the TG01 and uh, Tata Motors. Whenever this pop up comes, you know, we are getting issues. <laughs> yeah, so what we'll do now. I'm just trying to avoid the rest of these other. PG01 is, is not saved, right? Uh, I'll go to new entries, otherwise, uh, I'll go to new entries. You can go to new entries also. I'm copying, uh, we'll try with the new entries. Okay, so PG01, okay, so sales organization. And currency is I know. When I'm entering these details, like I'm getting them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there is some SQL call is happening. Okay, let me check this. Like I'll I'll check it out. Like I'll show you the uh, like you know, I'll I'll save the uh, sales action later. We'll proceed further like it's not uh it's it's not hard stuff for us now as of now but we understood core like uh how to create the sales organization right so now we are going to define the distribution channel right 
So company can be created with a six digit alphanumeric and the company code can be defined with the four digit alphanumeric. And we came to know how to create the sales organization. So sales organization can be defined with the four digit alphanumeric. So it is not getting saved because address details, some, we are getting some issue. So I'll rectify that like after the call, you know, so I don't want to waste time here, but uh, I'll, I need to do some debug on that. Like if we require it, we need to maintain some tables. So once it is done, then it will get saved. Okay, I'll show you the sales organization, how it appears once we save that, that will be like that I'll show you in tomorrow's session. Now moving further, so I'm going to define the distribution channel. Okay, so uh, as I said, a distribution channel is channel in which way material reaches to the customer. Okay, so it's a part of SD module and uh, distribution channel can be defined as a two digit alphanumeric. Okay, so sales organization can be defined as a four digit, four digit alphanumeric, whereas distribution channel can be defined as the two digit alphanumeric. So moving further, so the same way, like I'll go to SPRO, AMG. So enterprise structure. So I'm going to definition part. Then we'll get into sales and distribution. Here we have define copy delete check distribution channel. So distribution channel can be defined with the two digit alphanumeric, right? Define distribution channel. Here we can take 10 as a reference or you can go to new entries. Okay, you can go to new entries also. So nothing will be there, like no address fields, nothing will be there in this. Okay, I'll give T1 as a distribution channel and I can, I can enter as a dealers or internet sales, whatever. Whatever the naming, naming convention you want to use, you can enter. Press enter, then save it. Right, so it will be saved under transport request. So this is the way you can create the distribution channel. Right. Any questions here? So now, as of now, we have created the company, company code, sales organization, and distribution channel. So company created with a six-digit alphanumeric, company code created with a four-digit alphanumeric, and sales organization is created with a four-digit alphanumeric, and distribution channel is created with a two-digit alphanumeric. Right? Any questions here? Any questions? Right. So here, if you see here, there are multiple company codes, multiple sales organizations, multiple distribution channels. I'm just creating only one, one company, one company code, one sales organization, one distribution channel. When you're practicing, you can create multiple company codes with the multiple sales organizations and multiple distribution channels. Even in projects when you're working for the client. So we'll, get, we'll have multiple company codes, multiple sales organization, multiple distribution channels, right? So as of now, like, you know, no need to create multiple company codes or multiple organization units. So I'm just creating only one. And the next organization unit which I'm going to create here is a division. So division is the lowest organization unit in SD model, which can be defined with the two digit alphanumeric. Whereas distribution channel also can be created with the two digit alphanumeric. The same way, we are going to define the division also with the two digit alphanumeric, right? So moving to the uh, application. So here, how to create the division, right? The same way, how we created the distribution channel, right? IMG. Enterprise structure, definition. Basically, though it is a part of division, division will be used in division. I said like it's a uh, range of it defines a range of products, right? So it is also used in logistics. So I'll get into logistics general. Okay, in the logistics general, we can see the define copy delete check division. It will not be part of under the menu of sales and distribution, but it will be part of logistics general menu, right? Here you can see define, copy, delete, check division. Okay, so I'll just get inside with this. Then define division. You can copy 10 or 0, whatever you want, or go to new entries, whatever you like. Go to new entries. Enter two digit, like T1. So bus division, what, whatever the division name you want to give. So just a description, it's a free text. Whatever the name you want to give, you can give. Press enter, then save it. Right? It will be saved under transport request. So, as I said before, whatever the uh, like in you know, configurations you do in IMG screen, everything will be stored in transport request. Right? So, as per our example, we have created our own company, company code, sales organization, distribution channel, and division. Right? So, division also created with a two digit alphanumeric. Distribution channel created with the two digit alphanumeric, sales organization with the four digit, company code with the four digit, whereas company created with the six digit alphanumeric. Right? We created, we just defined it. We did not do the assignment part again. 
okay we have to discuss about that also later so any questions in this section i have a question about like the transport request right mm -hmm. so you were saying like transport request is there uh, will there be a report that we can view to see what which ones got like created or uh, got newly introduced no so because you know if you see here whatever the configurations we are doing here it will be uh -huh. uh, everything is saved under same request we are not generating the new request every time right so we'll give this transport request to the base system so as i said yeah where is that where is that transport request so when you are saving we are getting one pop up right okay so let me show you that so when you are saving something like let me create uh, <laughs> let me edit the data Sudhakar, can you show her uh, SC10 transaction? That you yeah, SC10 also, but uh, I'll go there also. But um, let me show you that. First of all, like, you know, when you're getting these, when you're saving them, something like, let me go to TZ01 transaction code, TZ01 sales organization. It is not created, right? That should be fine. Okay, so, I'll, so let's say I'll do some changes here. I'll go details. I'm doing some changes here. Okay, let's, whenever, whenever I'm saving something, okay, I think we just opened it. I'll just go back and come again. We're getting pop up, right? Like, I think you would have seen that. I'm just modifying something. If you see here, these are transport requests. Oh, okay, okay. Right? So, this is a transport request where we can see it in a different transaction code also. Like, uh, if I go to AC10 transaction code, but we'll be discussing about this transport request separately. Okay, if I go to AC10, so enter your username or uh, go to display. Here you can see your transport request here. So, so that would be like a user specific, like one transport request, or like it could be like no. the feature specific. Uh, actually, it is not the feature specific. It's a project specific. Okay, so let's say uh, myself and other person is working for the same project. I wanted to share the same transport request. We can use the same transport request. Okay, okay. so I'll share with him. So once my uh, changes are done, okay, so there will be different transport requests for the uh, technical changes as well as configuration part. If uh, for a map, I'll create separate transport request and I'll give it to them. If there is any code changes or table changes, right? So I'll give the I'll create the transport separate transport request them. That will be called as a workbench request. Okay, it will be given to them. And for all the configurations, we can use, like, you know, if you want to use single transport request or if you want to use the multiple transport request also, you can use it. So it depends. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Right. So this is a way we can create the, like, the company, company code, sales organization, distribution channel, and division, right? So now moving on to next slide. So company code, in this section, we have a company code. Company code is already created. Now I'm going to create the plant. So plant is manufacturing facility right so plant can be defined with the four digit uh, four digit alphanumeric right so let me get into definition of plant okay i'll just go back so in the same uh, path again enterprise structure definition so to define the plant i'll get into logistics general it's a part of logistics general so here we have defined copy delete check plan just get inside of this so I'll get into this section because as I said before, company code and plant always copy from thousand, completely copy. Okay, so then copy delete check plan. So here we have our copy organization object. So it will display the pop-up from which plant you want to copy. I'll want to copy from thousand to which plant. So my like you know, my plant name I want to give four digits, TZ01. You can give any name, as I said. Uh, for a company, company code, uh, a company code, sales organization, and a plant, I'm giving the same name because I want to remember easily. We cannot search for the plant every time, right? So uh, that is the reason I'm giving TG round, but it's up to you. If you want to give different name also, you can give, okay? So from plant 1000, I'm copying to plant TG01. So when the moment once you click on continue, all the details from 1000 will be copied into TG01. So click on continue button. So you can reuse the codes like across, I mean, like um, across like the different uh, areas. So what like, do you mean the reuse here? Like, no, no the, I thought like you define TG, TG01 for something else. 
no uh, so t zero one created for company code that is different company code that is different organizational units okay so if you see oh, so you are associating like this new plant that you are creating under t zero one here no so what i'm doing here is company code i have given the t zero one name uh huh okay but same tg01 again i cannot create in the company code like you know i cannot use the multiple names uh, the same name in the company code but i am creating the different uh, organizational units here the same name so company code is different and TG sales organization is different right yeah that is what i'm saying like so across yeah. like different areas you can reuse the yes code. exactly yeah same okay. area we cannot use it but the uh, different areas we can use okay. yeah okay so here uh, i'm getting some pop up like uh, do you want to re uh, really want to transfer the number in your size yes, i want to it is getting copied so what is usually the best practice so basically uh, there is no such rules like you know we need to use the same naming convention for practice purpose use the same naming convention to remember easily that's what i can say <laughs> for each country you know for each country or for each company code will have different different naming conventions basically okay so so it's a client will take a decision like i did not see any uh, uh, like any fundamental rule that uh, to use this specific name for the particular company or company code or sales organization okay okay so, so it so could this. be organization specific like exactly. whatever they have defined exactly or they want to follow yeah it's organization specific yeah, that's right So, uh, plant is copying from thousand to our new plant called TG zero. So, it is copying all the tables from background. is getting copied like so it is getting copied first time it will take time like you know second time onwards like this is a new server right so it is buffering it got copied now so it is saving a transport request Okay. Do you want to transport the intervals? Yes. Okay. 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 If 
fine it got copied now so all the details from 1000 to tg01 has been copied now we'll change the details according to our requirement so i'll get into define plan I'm just getting to define plan So I'll search for my plant which you have created. So TG01 is my plant. So I'll just select it. So there is a magnifying glass here. So just get into details. So here we'll change the details. Okay. So here like Tata plant, Tata plant one, one whatever the name. Okay. So here name like you can enter anything. So we have address tab also, but I'm not going to enter anything in address tab. Press enter, then save it. Save it. This is how we can create the plan also, right? So once we create the plan, so till now whatever the organizations we have created is like, so company created, company code, sales organization, distribution channel, division. So plant also we have created. Now we are going to create the shipping point. So what is shipping point? Shipping point is a point from where material will be shipped to the customers, right? So now we are going to define the shipping point. Shipping point also can be defined with the four digit alternative. Maximum four digit. Okay, so to define the shipping point, so I'll go to SPRO. We are in a SPRO IMG screen. Go to enterprise structure, definition. So now we'll get into logistic execution. So here we have logistic execution, right? So here you can see, Define copy delete check shipping point. Okay, so just select this. Define shipping point. So here also the same way. If you want, you can copy from thousand and create the new shipping point. Or else you can go to new entry second so create the new shipping point. So, but always just remember that. So company code and plant is mandatory to copy. If you don't copy plant and Ship, uh, company code so there will be like a lot of data need to be maintained manually instead of that like you know you can change you can like, copy existing one and create it so remain remaining organization also recommended to copy but still you can go with the new entries okay there, it will not be very hard to maintain the data it will not be like you know uh, we can maintain it easily if you miss something also So here, select thousand, click on copy button. So I'm just copying from standard thousand. I'm going to create the new shipping point. Okay, shipping point. I'm just entering like TG01 as a name. As I said, like some is just using the same naming, the same name for everything. Shipping point. Okay, so change the details, whatever you wanted to press enter. Again, we got the address details here. So I don't think it will be able to save it. Okay, I'm trying to change the details. Yes, Sudhakar, so I have a question. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, so here, right, when you go to the test PRO, mm -hmm. uh, there is there are two buttons, right? One is uh, defined, and the another one is copy. Okay. Yeah. So you you can select any of them, or uh, because uh, for this you selected uh, defined, yeah. right? So, but said, some like, of them you are taking uh, some of them you are taking copy, but some of them you are taking defined. Defined. So, so basically, you know, uh, this is a very good question, right? very good observation. So basically, when I'm copying, uh, when I want to define the company code and the plan, so I'm getting into the copy button, copy uh, copy uh, section. When I'm remaining, I'm getting into define. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, so always company code and plan is recommended to copy. Copy, okay. okay, got it, got it. So remaining, you can go to define. Right? Define, okay, thank you. Yeah. So shipping point is mandatory to be entered the address details, but I'm getting them. I'll look into that. Like, but we understood how to define base idea. We got an idea like how to define the uh, shipping. But point, all, right? all these things, right? You're you're trying on the new new server, right? We are. Exactly. Are you are you trying? 
so maybe you think like when the when the setup of the server some of the data tables are may not be no uh, right so, yeah so normally it will not be missed okay so not i'll look into that and there will be some okay. Okay. address related uh, like you no know, table may not be getting updated i'll look into that like after this okay okay it will take like you no know, time i don't want to waste time here that is the reason i'm not right yeah sure sure but do share the information like whatever you ident whatever you found out during the troubleshooting do share it during the next class definitely yeah definitely yeah. okay so this is a way we can create the shipping form now moving on to the next slide okay so here uh, you can see the uh, store, company code is already created plant is already created and the store location we are going to create so store location is a facility inside the plant as i said we are going to create the store location inside the plant now uh, store location also can be created with a four digit alphabet right so let me getting into definition of store location here Uh, here you can see uh, go to uh, spro img like uh, custom sorry we'll go to spro img basically it will be faster like, you know, like suddenly it becomes slow <laughs> okay so enterprise structure definition i'm going to define the store location store location is part of uh, materials management i'm just getting to materials management here you can see maintain store location so the moment once i click on this activity it lasts for the plant so under which plant you want to create the store location is mandatory and when we need to create enterprise structure or for any organization yes it is all mandatory to follow yeah we have to follow these things yeah even whatever the organization leads we need to create so we we have defined here right these are all mandatory so remaining uh, like you know in, sorry yeah yeah okay. go ahead no no my question is this is as for the functional requirement documentation we create or uh, from where do we get this information in general in the real yeah, time so, yeah so functional requirement basically you know initially we'll get the business requirements right so brds will get it in brds brds itself they'll say that like we need to have this many company codes these many sales organizations these many sales distribution channels and so the, all the organizations it will be mentioned in the brd based on okay. the brd we'll prepare the functional specification okay got it so see here the moment once i click on the uh, define the store location right is asking for the plant under which plant you want to create the store location so that is the reason i was telling like storage location is a facility inside the plant so that is the reason we are entering the plant here so under which plant you want to create the store location under tg01 plant i want to create the store location so i'm just entering the plant here and continue so i'll get into store location definition screen so it is reading data but so maybe once you run all the transactions right like uh, so it will become free like um, it will take it will be more faster than it is compiling every time like whenever we execute the certain transaction codes very first time it will compile everything so next time onwards like it will be faster than this okay so now we got into store location so now under this tg01 plant i'm going to add the 
new store location you can copy existing one or go to new entries okay so go to new entries whatever you like enter the four digit alphanumeric i'm entering the tg01 tg01 as a store location name enter some description enter description and save it store location and if you have any address specific details you can enter the address details or else just leave it blank nothing will happen then save it so it will be saved under transport request it will be saved under transport request so with this definition part has been completed as of now we know sd related okay whatever sd integration whatever the mandatory mandatory organizational units we need to have right now so as of now we created in future we may create other organizational units also okay so as of now these are all required for us to run the successful transactions in future like we will create the different organization units like warehouse we'll create the purchase organizations and other organization also we'll create but as of now as the specific we have created these organizational units we have created the company company code sales organization distribution channel division and uh, plant shipping point and store location so these are the organizational units we have created as of now but so if required in future in further classes right when you are creating the when you are discussing about the procurement process at that time we may require the purchase organization also when you are discussing about the warehouse management like you know we need to create the uh, warehouse also sometimes we, we like in future we'll be discussing about the credit control how the credit management will be uh, like you know uh, can be configured in sap at that time like we will create the credit control area also okay so depend the depends on the topic in future we'll be discussing right so at that time we'll create specific uh, organizational units but as of now to run the entire otc cycle order to cash cycle inquiry to billing so these are the organizational units is required as of now. now as of now we just defined it okay now we need to link each other right so we need to link okay so we here we can see it's a structure form okay here we just created our own company we created company code and individual organizational units we have everything now we need to link each other so that will be done in the assignment part okay we need to assign each other but there is a rule in sap always you know lower level organization units will be assigned to the higher level organization units. if you see here like you know company is a higher level organization unit and lower level is company code so company code can be assigned to company sales organization can be assigned to company code so distribution channel will be assigned to the sales organization division will be assigned to the sales organization right so lower level to higher level organization units not like you know company is linked to company code is not the way so company code is linked to company so because so many company codes can be assigned to single company that is the relationship between the company code to company is many to one relationship that means many company codes can be assigned to one company so if you think logically tata styles tata motors and tcs will be part of tata group only it will not be part of birla group or reliance group right so the relationship between the company code to company is many to one relationship company company codes can be assigned to company same way sales organization to company code we need to assign distribution channel to sales organization division to sales organization why uh, people may ask me like why division is need to assign to sales organization not to be the distribution channel because so as i said before as a thumb rule okay always lower level organization units will be assigned to highest level organization units in sd module highest organization unit is sales organization so lower levels lower levels what we have here is distribution channel as well as division so distribution channel we are assigning to higher level sales organization that will be fine but in sd module so lowest level is division and it should be assigned to higher level higher level for division is sales organization only not the distribution channel so always lowest level will be assigned to highest level only right so there is reason we need to do the assignment if we go back okay plant should be assigned to company code shipping point should be assigned to plant and uh, so store location is already part of plant so there is no separate assignment is required for the uh, store location to plant because when you are defining itself we are defined under the plant okay there is no separate assignment is required so now to assign that so we'll get into ing screen again we need to get into assignment part okay so any questions here before i move to assignment part so now i'm moving on to um, sap 
I'm getting to assignment part now. We just come back from here. Just go back from here. So we are in IMD enterprise structure. So definition part is done already. Now we need to get into assignment part. So we'll get to assignment part. So financial accounting, right? So financial accounting. So assign company code to company. Just select this. As I said before, lower level organizational units will be assigned to higher level organizational units. Company code is lower level and higher level is company. So the relationship between the company code to company will be many to one relationship. Many company codes can be assigned to single company. Okay. Now I'm going to assign the company code to company. So it's a compelling. So first time, as I said, like it will take time to compel. So once we run the all the transactions, then it will be free. Like we'll... So Dr. Gar, in the meantime, in the Kalmar enterprise structure creates just now for different modules. So, so different transport numbers generate. So our different transport one... request. Kadaande. So usually, we have single transport request. It, it oh, not single okay. Okay. Mm. So, production go a transport request move in Travata. So, then uh, we cannot use that transport request. We can need, we need to create another transport request. Okay, okay, got it. Yeah. So, now I'm selecting the company code here. So, what is your company code we have created? TG02, right? For TG02. So, we need to assign the company here. So, I'm selecting my company code which I have created here. Sudhakar, one, one, TG01. Sorry. Um, We use TG02 uh, actually in my company, so always I'll go to TG02. <laughs> okay, it's fine. So here TG01 is company code. Okay, so we need we are assigning the company to here. So my company code is TG01. I'm going to assign the company here. So my company name which I created is Tata01, I believe, right? Tata01 is my company name. So which is six digit alpha. Right. So press enter and save it. And save it. So again, it will be 700. Whatever you do in IMG scheme, so everything will be 700 transport request. Right? So we got the, so I mean, so we saved uh, company code, uh, we assigned the company code to company. Right? What is the next assignment now? What is the next assignment we need to do? We did the assignment between company code to company. So many company codes can be assigned to single company. So many to one relationship. What is the next assignment here? Sales organization. Sales organization to? Company, company code. Company code. Very good. So the relationship between the sales organization to company code is many sales organizations can be assigned to single company, single company code. So many to one relationship. So as of now, we don't have the sales organization because we are getting some dump when you're defining the address details, right? So I need to look into that. So we'll continue the assignment part in tomorrow's session, right? So we did just did the assignment between company code to company. The remaining next assignments will be, we'll discuss in tomorrow's session. But make sure that, like, you know, when you are coming for the tomorrow session, like, if you can practice, it will be easy for you to follow me. Otherwise, like, you know, if you don't practice, at least like half an hour, 40 minutes, like, if you can get this or access and start practicing from today onwards, like, you know, whatever the discussion we are discussing, right? Initially, like, it will take uh, one hour or half hour time. But going forward, you know, we'll increase the session timings also because it is difficult for you to follow me initially. But going forward, like, we'll have lengthy sessions also. Fine. Right? Any questions? Sudhakar Garu, yep. transport request and it will be unique when we are generating all this, right? So everything yes. we are creating will be saved into that one transport request. Exactly. Yeah. So whatever sales organization, like you know, sales organization uh, or any organization unit which I have saved, has saved in the same transport request. So okay. as of now, like, you know, that don't think about the transport request, like just save it like as of now. 
but we'll have separate session about the transport request like we, i need to give some information of the transport request like you know how it will be moved and will be taking care of how like you know how to release it to production those things we'll discuss later so don't waste your time on the transport request side there is nothing now we don't care about that as sd okay. consultant like you know that is not our duty to maintain the transport request our duty is to just save it in the transport request that's it so from there it will be taking care by the basis team okay so so that okay. is like, that is not our functionality actually so just concentrate on the enterprise structure so but we'll discuss about the transport request in detail in separate session okay thanks andy yeah sure sudhakar garu manamu akkada definition dantlo kelthe sales and distribution lo define maru copy cheyalanna delete cheyalanna alaga vastunayi kada modules yes so not plan is not a module actually so module is right word kada actually so any ipudu chudandi ikkada so define copy idena meer cheppedi so yeah yeah plant ante plant vachindi kada asalu prathi daniki meer back velta undalandi ante like uh ikkada meer yeah so for example like uh, yeah, i understood your question like uh, i am into sales organization creation stream right now if you want to define the plant again we need to go back yeah so we need to get if you know the transaction code you can enter the transaction code directly in the command field if you don't know the transaction code just go back to the main screen ing screen so whatever you want to create right if you want to create the last plant so let's get into last example then define the plant here మీరు బ్యాక్ వెళ్ళే కొద్దీ అది చేంజ్ అవుతూ ఉంటుంది లైక్ ప్లాంట్ అని లైక్ ఛానల్స్ దిస్ ఆర్ ఆల్ స్టాండర్డ్ అది సో స్టాండర్డ్ ఆ ఓకే ఓకే ఇట్ నాట్ ఓకే ఓకే యా యా ఇట్ ఎప్పటికీ మరి ఎప్పుడు ఏ ఏ టైం లో వచ్చినా కూడా ఈ స్క్రీన్స్ అనేది కామన్ గా ఉంటాయి అన్నమాట కాబట్టి ఒక్కొక్క దాంట్లో ఒక్కొక్కటి ఉంది సెల్స్ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూషన్ లో కొన్ని అసెంబ్లీ ఓకే అండ్ ఇందా నుంచి నేను అదే చూస్తా ఉన్నాను యా ఓకే ఓకే ఒకసారి మీరు అయిపోయిన తర్వాత సెషన్ ఒకసారి నావిగేట్ చేయండి సో ఇఫ్ యు కెన్ నావిగేట్ ది స్క్రీన్స్ యు నో సో యు విల్ గెట్ టు నో మోర్ థింగ్స్ సుధాకర్ <laughs> is it like you know how we have to pay that amount also and also um, how to get like you know we will get that id or we have to set up that id or how yeah so how to, basically about you know, the queen uh, and all that yeah. yeah commercial side you know so basically uh, for a payment and all you can talk to sheshan okay sheshan yeah. will guide you like you not know, how much and uh, what is the process and all uh, but uh, in google drive you see that uh, google drive which uh, sheshan has said right there you have sap gui so try to download that and sheshank will guide you like you know how to uh, configure that uh, sap gui and how to log in into that and he'll give you, he'll be getting your own user and password oh sure sure, sure. yeah so the process steps and all he'll share with you like i have already given to sheshank and he'll share with everybody sure the front page ko sare ella na sudha kar garu display ng front page okay yeah సర్వర్ నేమ్ హియర్ అండ్ క్లిక్ ఆన్ లాగ్ అండ్ బటన్ హియర్ విల్ గెట్ ది యూజర్ అండ్ పాస్వర్డ్ ఇదేనండి yeah okay and yeah anything else fine then so if you don't have any question then we we'll catch up tomorrow thank you thank you all thank you very much sir thank you thank you thank you thank you thanks sir thank, thank you sir thank you sir it's a very good session thank you yeah, good session thank you sir thank you thank you and have a great day bye